cultivating the habit of inquiry is all about making it a regular practice to ask more great questions and then deeply listen to the answer. It's about asking more than telling so that you can increase your effectiveness as a leader and help guide others to their greatness. The leader of the past was a person who told. The leader of the future is one who asks. Some of the most profound changes we've observed in the leaders we've worked with occurred when they shifted the ratio of telling versus asking. I was recently debriefing with a coaching client who said, throughout my career, I achieved success by proving my expertise. Now I realize that my leadership role needs to focus on developing others. When I do that, I get better results. I need to be a different leader by asking more questions and listening more. You are a brilliant, accomplished leader who delivers results and successfully manages your team. Will the practices and leadership habits that you learned in the past continue to serve you in the future? Consider the complexity of the world today. Think about the disruptive forces of the economy, politics, and the market. Can one person really be the source of all the answers and the source of all the best solutions? The pace of change and the disruptive forces around us require that we learn the art of asking so that we can gather the brilliance of those around us rather than rely solely on our own insights. Not only will questions exponentially enhance your leadership, they can transform your organizational culture and give you a competitive edge. Question-driven cultures have the capacity to respond swiftly and effectively to problems inside the organization while staying ahead of the curve in planning for external challenges and opportunities. Asking questions is essential for opening new possibilities for virtually every goal and function, whether it's gathering information, building relationships, thinking objectively, or coordinating project activities. Skillful questioning is essential for resolving breakdowns, making tough decisions, innovating, and managing change. Here's a thought that completely blew me away as I considered it. Questions open the mind. Answers close the mind. Once someone has answered the question, it's done and over. When I'm guiding leaders through a significant organizational change, a question session is one of the powerful tools that I use. We gather their participants and instruct them that they will only ask questions. No one can answer a question. Inevitably, as the questions are gathered, there's a lull in the room as the energy shifts from frustration to possibility. It's powerful because it disrupts the normal tendency to move to solution. It's powerful because it shifts the minds of the participants from being stuck in their views to being open to new thinking. In today's VUCA world, can you afford a closed mind? Good questions have great power. They help you get information you're missing, information that can lead to solutions you could not have imagined. They invite deeper reflection about challenging problems, reflections that push you past solutions and obvious ideas that won't do much for complex problems. Great questions spark insight and creative thinking. They break you out of molds and enable curiosity to replace certainty. This is an essential shift for the kind of problem solving necessary when the usual solutions just aren't working. Questioning is a uniquely powerful tool for unlocking value in organizations. It spurs learning and the exchange of ideas. It fuels innovation and performance improvement. It builds rapport and trust among team members. And it can mitigate business risk by uncovering unforeseen pitfalls and hazards. Many people, especially leaders, believe they're supposed to have all the right answers. But what if you can actually go further faster when we shift your focus to asking the right questions? As you reflect on your approach to communication, is your dominant style asking or telling? Asking is a powerful skill and a gift that you can give yourself, your family, friends, and everyone you work with. Let's explore the power of habit to create change in your life 
through asking questions. It's not enough to know the importance of asking questions. You need to actually ask more questions. Habits are nothing more than repeated behaviors. A habit is generated by a trigger or a cue that gets us a reward. To cultivate the habit of inquiry, you need a trigger to remind yourself to ask more questions. First step, assess your ratio. When you're in meetings, is your conversation dominated by telling your team what you think and what they should do? Or are you asking questions to understand, to coach, to create connection, and ultimately achieve a better outcome? If you're challenged to assess your ratio of asking versus telling on your own, ask for help. Think of someone that you trust, someone that interacts with you regularly and that you are willing to receive feedback from. Explain that your goal is to determine how much telling you do and if there's certain situations that you do more telling than asking. The second step is to actually build the habit of inquiry by deciding on your trigger or cue. Creating new habits is not easy. According to psychologists, action triggers are the most important part in the creation of new habits. A trigger is just an event or an action or something tangible that automatically sets off a reaction. So how will you remember to ask more questions? It was exactly this question that caused us to create the Catalyst Question Cards as a tangible trigger to help leaders remember to ask questions. The leaders we worked with wanted to ask more questions and they found lots of fantastic books, even question apps. But it's tough to walk into a meeting with a book and just flip through the pages to find the question you want. An app is a great resource, but not a tangible reminder. So we did a pilot. We had several CEOs use a prototype of the cards and the response was outstanding. The leaders kept the cards on their desk, pulled them out as they were going to a meeting or conversation and then flip through them. They'd select the cards that would be useful reminders. So whether you use the Catalyst question cards or create your own deck of cards by writing some questions on index cards, I encourage you to make a tangible trigger and use it to remember to ask more questions. One last tip, as you increase your ratio of asking over telling, ask one question at a time. <laughs> this seems obvious, but it's a challenge. Sometimes I find myself stacking them up. Don't do it. Don't fill the space. Don't blather on. Don't ask three questions when one good one will do. As you build the habit of inquiry into your life and leadership practices, I'd like to share a lesson I learned many years ago when I was reading Stephen Covey's book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. It comes from the fifth habit, which is seek first to understand, then be understood. Seeking to understand is a core life principle. Cultivating the habit of inquiry is exactly what you need to do to be effective and successful.